What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today I have all the upcoming Season 5 Operator bundles that we know of so far and I got photos and all that stuff to share with you guys. Before we do start though, I want to remind you I did upload a video going over the Battle Pass. So if you missed that video, check it out. It's the link in the description. I posted it yesterday. Covered all the Battle Pass operators, the rewards that we know of, and everything you'll be able to get from it. And trust me, Season 5 probably has the best Battle Pass we've gotten so far. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get into it. So this season is going to be a unique one because we're actually going to be getting a total of four different events that are going to be happening through the duration of this entire season on august 4th we are going to be receiving the faction showdown event that one doesn't have anything to do with the store it's just an event which i'll probably talk about in a later video which is going to be the the main event that we have then we have season 5 reloaded's event which is going to be the camo challenge which we get every single season it's pretty repetitive at this point you do all these different weapon challenges and you end up getting camos for them now here's what makes season 5 stand out from the rest we're also going to be getting the cod 2023 reveal event and that is going to be going along with dmz we have haven't been given a date for it, but it's going to happen at some point during the season five update. And the final event that we have is going to be the 50 year hip hop celebration event, which is going to be a crossover between Call of Duty and hip hop. And that has to do with the operator bundles that we are going to be receiving as well. So the very first set of operator bundles are going to be those hip hop ones. And that is going to consist of three different operators. The first one is going to be Snoop Dogg. He's going to be available on the launch of season five. So he's going to be the very first operator bundle that we are going to be getting in the season five update. As soon as the update goes live and you download it you can go on over to the store and if you plan on purchasing him you can do that unfortunately we don't have any gameplay we only have two different photos of him he's one of the only bundles that has been given a date as usual with every single bundle that we have there's also going to be some blueprints that are going to come along with them he's holding one of them and as you can see it's like a blue type of camo I'm not exactly sure what the tracer effects are going to be but more than likely he will have some sort of tracer effects on each of these weapon blueprints we just don't know exactly what they're going to be obviously he will have his own voice lines and things like that and the price is going to cost you 2400 card points that's the same price that all the license operators usually cost after that we are going to be receiving Nicki Minaj she's going to be coming in during in season which means it's going to be before the season 5 reloaded update but also a little bit after the season 5 update goes live so my guess is maybe two to three weeks after Snoop Dogg comes out we're probably going to end up seeing Nicki Minaj we know that the reloaded update is going to be around August 30th which is going to be around a month from the season 5 update so a guess would be like halfway through there is when we're going to be seeing her we know that you have this operator which is the photo that they have given us we also know that she has some sort of a pink weapon blue blueprint she also is going to have some sort of tracer effects which we don't know exactly what they look like and then finally this will cost you 2400 cod points the standard price the last and final bundle that we have in terms of this celebration is going to be 21 savage although they do not show us a photo of him it's very obvious we can tell what he looks like we already know what he looks like we don't know what the weapon blueprints look like as well that he's going to have coming in. It is going to be a little bit unique. You know that with Snoop Dogg, we've seen him in the past before, so it wasn't too surprising with Nicki Minaj. We've already seen the photos that they've given us. So with 21 Savage, there will be some surprises here and there. There might be like a slaughter gang weapon or something like that for all we know, but that's going to be the last and final bundle. And that's going to be coming in around the season five reloaded update. So after August 30th is when we can see this bundle hit the store. Typically, whenever they add operator bundles, the last one is usually the best one and they end up adding that last because they want people to buy the other ones Snoop Dogg was first because we saw him on Cold War already then it's followed by Nicki Minaj we got to see exactly what she looks like and then 21 Savage they're trying to silhouette him and hide him out to hype him up so potentially there will be some surprises with that operator bundle but with all these different bundles and different operator skins expect brand new finishing moves every single new skin gets one of those but those are the hip hop celebration crossover events we are going to be getting another crossover event which I'll talk about in a second but the next bundle that we have is going to be Mace we already talked about him previously we knew that he was leaked in the files he was going to be coming in as an operator obviously has nothing to do with the storyline so that means he's just going to be a bundle on his own and which will come in at some point during the update most likely they said he's in season so that's going to be before the reloaded update goes live once again they did add a silhouette to him so we don't know exactly what he looks like we obviously do know what mace looks like but if you look at velikin he ended up getting a full rebrand from the 2019 version to now they end up rebranding him and then they made him look a little bit different so it's going to be the same thing here with mace they might upgrade him they might alter him and change him up and remodel him as a new character maybe he'll have a different outfit than what we saw in modern warfare 2019 i don't know exactly how they're going to be bringing him in you can expect that he's going to be coming in he's going to look a little bit different from what we've seen in the past based on what they did to velikin and other operators that have come in from past call of duty titles jumping on to the next bundle that we have they didn't give us an official announcement for this bundle 
handle, but I noticed it in some photos, and that is a Cowboy Ghost Operator skin. I saw him in one of like the gunfight or 4v4 face-off photos that they ended up putting, and you can see that this is a brand new skin we've never seen before. I can't imagine this being in the Battle Pass because we know the entire Battle Pass theme is obviously Shadow Company, and this has to do with Cowboys. That really doesn't match the theme at all. And then on top of that, he's also holding a brand new weapon blueprint that I've never seen before. So it tells me this might be his official weapon blueprint or one of them that is going to be coming in. For the price, I'm not sure. Typically, skins like this are around with like, what, 2,000 COD points? Anyways, going on to the next one that we have, this is also going to be a crossover collaboration, and this is going to come in during the Season 5 Reloaded update, and that is going to be Call of Duty and PlayStation collab. And I'll be introducing Laura Croft from Tomb Raiders into the game. Now, that was leaked by PlayStation themselves. We don't have any photos, but you can assume that it's going to be the standard Laura Croft that's going to be coming in, but the PlayStation article ended up sort of teasing that that was going to be coming in during the Reloaded update as a crossover collaboration, so that means not only are we going to be receiving a hip-hop collaboration, but we're also going to be getting one with PlayStation, which I find a little bit weird, especially at a time like this with the whole Microsoft and Activision Blizzard merger that's going on. But anyways, the other operators right here that we have, these I'm not sure about exactly, but I saw them multiple different times throughout the trailer, throughout photos. I honestly cannot tell you if they're going to be a part of the Battle Pass or if they're going to be a part of a store bundle. The first one is going to be Captain Price. I've seen him multiple times wearing this exact bundle, so it is going to be coming in at some point during Season 5. I have no idea if it's going to be in the Battle Pass, if it's going to be one of the free rewards, or if it's going to be available in the bundle. I also saw Soap. He was wearing a brand new outfit, but I believe that one is actually going to be a free reward for the Faction Showdown event. They did say that Haranji and Soap were going to be receiving some additional Operator skins, and depending on who wins the event, Task Force will get the Soap Operator, and then Shadow Company will get the Haranji one. And then there's also random skins here and there. For example, this one standing next to Captain Price. I'm not exactly sure if that one is going to be available in the Battle Pass or if it's going to be available in the store. One thing I do want to let you know is that these are not going to be the only bundles that we are going to be receiving. These are just the ones that we know of so far because when the Season 5 update goes live, we obviously are going to have leaks. We're going to have exact photos, dates, and everything will be dropping during the Season 5 update. The leakers will get into the files and then they'll show us all the photos. And then as you know, with the Season 5 Reloaded update, we'll have uh, yet again another refresh for the store. So we'll know exactly all the details as soon as the Season 5 update goes live. But this is just now. I just want to let you guys know the, all the stuff that has been confirmed and leaked to us so far and announced to us by Call of Duty. This is everything that we have so far. What are your thoughts and opinions on these upcoming store bundles? Do you think they're good? Do you think they compare to last seasons? Do you think they're a little bit better? What other operator bundles do you want to see added into the game? Do you want to see more soap skins? Do you want to see more ghost operators? Do you want to see more different variants for Velikin? Do you want to see the old Velikin being added as some sort of a store bundle or added as a variant for you to get? But anyways, that's pretty much all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you found the video informative or helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll keep you up to date on everything as we get it. The next video will most likely cover all the events that we have. We're waiting on some more trailers. We are going to get breakdown trailers of the Black Cell. And overall, there will be a little bit more marketing from Call of Duty before the beginning of Season 5. So we might get a couple more blog posts covering DMZ or covering Black Cell or covering some different aspect of the season. But anyways, I'll cover that as we get it. But it's been your boy Chizzo. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.